Zinc is a very important mineral. It's important for gene expression, for enzymatic reactions in the body. These days you hear, of course, it talked about a lot for its support of the immune system. It's helpful for protein synthesis and DNA synthesis and also wound healing. Uh, and there's many ways to get zinc. Of course, you want to get as much zinc dietarily as you can, but then you may also like to think about getting it in a supplement form to make sure all your bases are covered. There's many forms of supplemental zinc. Uh, the two best ones that are available these days are called zinc bisglycinate and zinc picolinate. Now, zinc, you have it with these other things because you can't get just pure zinc on its own. It doesn't come like that. So in the case of zinc picolinate, you have the zinc molecule that's bound to what's called picolinic acid. And this is something that is naturally occurring. It's a metabolite of tryptophan that's naturally found in the body. And uh, picolinic acid actually has some health benefits of its own. So it has benefits in the departments of being neuroprotective and also immunologically supportive. Um, and then our other option we're talking about here is zinc bisglycinate. And this is where you have the zinc bound to two molecules of glycine. And I'll put a link in the description to a whole other video we have all about benefits of glycine if you want to go down that rabbit hole. Um, now this is what's called an amino acid chelate is when you have a mineral bound to amino acids, picolinic acid, not an amino acid. Um, and so ultimately, which of these is going to be better? Well, they're, look, I want to say they're both great. Like if you have one or the other, don't throw it out just because I said the other one is going to be a little bit more bioavailable. Zinc bisglycinate is actually the more bioavailable option, but they're both really, really good. <laughs>